In today's Men NFL 16 tip, you're going to learn how to run the ball effectively and the scheme behind running the football in Men NFL 16. Welcome to today's video, guys. My name is Cody Boward, and what I do is I make Madden 16 videos to attempt to help you get better at the game. Working on an ebook right now, a written guide that's going to give you setups, full setups, and full gameplays uh, to help you get better. That's in the process, and I'll let you know when that's finished. But for the purpose of today's video, we're talking five sets for success. The idea of the five sets for success is to have something that really uh, gets at the heart of the Madden player, in the mind of the Madden player, the scheme, the philosophy, the thought process, the systematic approach to being effective at Madden. And so what Five Sets for Success does is it gives a, a comprehensive way to look at the game and to break it down. And we break it down into five categories. We break it down into base play, man beater, zone beater, blitz beater, three-headed rushing attack. Today's video is going to focus on the three-headed rushing attack. It's going to focus on how to run the ball effectively in combination with all of your other plays. Uh, you know, in the previous Maddens, in the previous years, it's been kind of, you know, we'd use like strong close, or we would use I-form twins, or we would use uh, single back ace, or things like that to get a nice three-headed rushing attack. With the new audible system and the way that it works and the way that it functions schematically, we typically like to try to find runs from the shotgun. Uh, and the reason for that is because it's going to allow us to stay consistent with the rest of our passing plays and things like that. With that in mind, let's get into and let's try to find a nice three-headed rushing attack. A run to the left side of the field, a run to the right side of the field, and a run directly down the middle of the field in Man NFL 16 from the New Orleans Saints playbook. So we're going to hop in here, we're going to buy formation. One of the things we note is that we do have the single back doubles, which is a decent formation for three-headed rushing attack because you can use the halfback smash and the zero-one trap. But um, what we're going to look more towards is this pistol bunch tight end. And, and pistol pistol is a decent run, in my opinion, any year. Um, one of the things we, we also note is that we're going to be facing a lot of nickel and dime sets. Those are kind of the formations. Uh, two for five double A gap is probably one of the premier run defenses. Uh, I talk about it a lot. I think it's really effective. And uh, so we're going to use that in today's game, or today's breakdown. One other thing to also look for uh, in the gun is we have this split offset formation. Um, you see some nice click passes from there as well, decent runs, but nothing to the left. And we know, you know, you notice that there's nothing to the left. So we need something to the left, something to the right, something to the middle of the field. Uh, we'll look at this uh, wing tree week was our zone beater, tight offset was our man beater, double flex offset week. We have the inside zone, the power O, no counter, so we got to. You know, next that one spread wide slot nothing going to be there. Trips Y ISO we have the base, the draw, and the counter. Um, as you see, we have an inside zone as well. Um, the other thing that you want to try to do is also try to get your runs in with your audibles. The quick audibles are really important as well. So we'll keep looking from here. Uh, Trap and Saints are base play. Empty Saint, those are all empty formations. So the only shotgun scent we can really use uh, is this Trips Y ISO. Okay. Uh, I'll, and one other thing to note, the Trap and Saint is probably actually the better running formation. You see it has a base, and it also has, uh, or excuse me, never mind. I, I disregard what I just said. Uh, but the Trips Y ISO... And then the wing trail week, the wing trail week, excuse me, is probably the better running formation uh, because I think it has a counter trap, which is really effective, and then also a base. But as long as it has a counter or base, it's really what you're looking for. We're going to actually use the pistol bunch tight end because we can actually get this done with one play uh, and then have you know, m uh, you know, more plays for ours. But we're going to focus on the strong power. So from the pistol bunch tight end, the strong power, of course, really effective. Uh, the run audible down is the inside zone. Always good to note your audibles. We have the verticals as the quick pass. We have the PA curls as the uh, play action. And then we have the stick as our, uh, our quick pass. So the halfback zone, first and foremost, is what I want to look into. This is going to allow us to really kind of power right directly at the center. Um, in my opinion, we can nice. It has some nice cutback lanes. Um, you can flip it and run it to the left side of the field. Um, and so you see there. I'm not a. I don't really care to flip runs anymore. I used to really not want to do that, but I really do like the butt pat now because you can really get into the mind of your opponent, and really play some games, and do some fake butt pats and things like that. The strong power not as effective as it has been in years past, but it is something that I do want to cover. So what you see here is if the defense is giving you an opening to the outside or the right, then we're going to just go ahead and run it as is, and we'll be able to get some decent yardage. If the defense starts shifting, and uh, maybe base aligns and things like that, and kind of plays to the outside left or right, we can flip the f we can flip the play by flipping uh, the left analog or the right analog stick to the left and run it off the left side. It's not as good on the on the left side. I will be honest, uh, as you see, because you had a corner, or excuse me, a wide receiver block in a corner or a linebacker. But you do have some opportunities for positive gains, especially if the look is there. So just run it if the look's there. 
Against this defense, what you're noticing here with this uh, is if we if we show this the way it is intended, um, and I don't know why I can't hit buttons today, but we'll show you this. Two, four, five. You see we have the uh, middle has been kind of open, and so we'll take our quick three yards cloud of dust mentality, and that's what we really like to do. One of the things that I like to do is use motion as well, and so I'll maybe in this situation motion Cole Beasley to the right to get another blocker over there and really pick up some yardage. But the whole thought process is, is having it run to the right side of the field, the left side of the field, and the middle of the field. This is probably the easiest of the three, or excuse me, of the five sets for success, but it's also the most important because running the ball is so essential to being successful in Madden. Having a good running game this year is really, really important. Trips why I saw, I want to show you this. We'll show you the counter, and we'll just do random plays defensively and give you random looks. The run audible down is the halfback draw, unfortunately, so you may have to add a quick audible in and may have to make a custom playbook uh, to make this really effective. Custom playbooks always make your scheme more effective, but you do see there's the halfback draw. If they're giving you the middle of the field you can run it. Here I want to maybe go to a quick pass. What I like about this is the stick Y fade is a nice quick pass and you can um, you can do the nice touch pass and get a nice one on ones there with Jason Witten. Another thing I want to see real quick and just for my personal pleasure and um, you see that it doesn't always work of course. If they have saved over top you're kind of screwed. But uh, you also have your counter and your counter you'll see here you know is a really uh, a solid run overall. Um, we got stuff in the backfield with there. If it gives you the right look, this is when you want to really run this. But you know, against the wrong look, you're going to get stuffed in the backfield. It's kind of your make or break run. But let me show you the look. If we get a look here, most of these are halfback base looks, unfortunately, and we don't even have it in our our plays here. You see, the draw is not bad though, and we can use that kind of to really power in the middle uh, if they're maybe dropping a lot of guys back. As you see, here's the draw. Um, but again, just something simple. What I, I do want to show you before I get out of here, though, I want to show you this counter. Um, and we'll show you, you know, kind of if they're in their man aligned. What I want to show is man aligned, too. So in this situation, I don't know what he's in here. But you see you have numbers to the right side of the field, and so we're going to use Randolph, that counter. I can't get a good example. It, it, you know, it's easier. And you would pop, And here's a good example. This may work really well. Um, but what you'll see... And see, they're in a kind of a four down lineman, and so we would probably pass, you know, honestly. But what you'll see here is when they have three guys and you have numbers, you're going to be able to run this counter, and it's going to be really effective for you. Um, I like to use stiff arms and spin moves in this year's game. I think they're really effective. I think it's better than it have been before. But here's the counter. It's not the best run it was by any means, but it's just something to have in combination with your high back base. See, here's a look for the counter. This is something where we would really take advantage of that. Um, we're not getting great blocks from one of the best offensive lines in the game. Practice mode's kind of finicky, uh, and it does that from time to time. But here you see there's the counter breaking to the outside. And, um, you know, some three-headed rushing attacks are always better than others. But it doesn't defeat the purpose that the principle of the three-headed rushing tech, as we discussed today, is to have a run to the left side of the field, a run to the right side of the field, and a run that you can run directly down the middle of the field. Those three components are going to...